This is the way Dunedin traffic lights usually roll. Green turns to amber, then to red. But if the suggestion of one Dunedin councillor is picked up, they may also go a little like red, amber, then green. Councillor Neville Peat brought the idea up late yesterday at a Council Infrastructure Services Committee meeting. Councillor Peat said he had the idea after seeing temporary traffic lights use the amber before the green near his Broad Bay home. We have relatively short phases in our, in our uh, traffic light system and, and uh, that very often if someone's not alert enough to start a flow with a green light at the moment of change, it's, it's the idea of the system he advocated was to give drivers some warning before the green, improve traffic flows and even save on fuel consumption. So the idea of, of introducing um, uh, an amber following a red uh, heads up on the green uh, seems to, to work well overseas. Councillor Pete says there are possible downsides, but those could all be considered in a report from staff. The idea of traffic light changes brought another angle from Deputy Mayor Chris Staines. He suggested lights reverting to flashing orange in off-peak hours so vehicles aren't waiting for the red in the middle of the night at an empty intersection. I don't drive around late at night as much, but I get it in the air from traffic driver, taxi drivers, and I've been in taxis driven through red lights. Um, at late at night, so we're talking about the hours where traffic flows are very light, and lights just, you sit there stopped, waiting, 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 there's not a single vehicle goes through the lights. Councillor Stain said unless there was a legal reason not to introduce the change, she would like it considered. Chairwoman Councillor Kate Wilson agreed to have both issues looked into, though staff today were unsure if the idea could be legally instituted under current laws. But if that issue can be dealt with, the result just could be an amber introduction to green in Dunedin. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News. Warning signs.